guys and welcome back to another Bluedis Garage. The first thing you're going to notice is yes I've had haircuts since the last videos. I've lost my Clarkson look and I'm back down to the um, young boy Bluedy look. But don't worry, the Clarkson will come back quick enough. So in today's video we're going to be doing a bit of work on the MR2. Now some of you know that a year, nearly a year ago uh, I, I got the MR2 and I decided to enjoy the car more than modify it to start with because I wanted to see what the car could do, what it was like, um, any issues and stuff like that. Um, so we didn't do that much to it last year. This year obviously we're going to start changing that and start doing different things to it. Now I've had a turbo lid for it for eight, nine months and it's been hanging on the wall. So today we're going to fit the turbo lid. We're going to do it slightly differently. Uh, I've had a couple of comments in the past videos. Uh, there's not enough footage sometimes of me doing things. So in an effort to try and rectify that I've got myself a GoPro kit of lots of different mounts because that's what I use to film, I use a GoPro. Because um, it's wide angle, it's nice and stable. Um, I don't think there's anything better to film on, if I'm honest. Uh, so I'll show you the quick kit and I'll show the different mounts and that we can use. But we'll get right into it and we'll start taking stuff off. Cool. So this is the quick little set that I got. Full of, I can even go to water with it. All sorts of different mounts and stuff like that. But more importantly, there's a head strap mount and there's a chest mount. So today we're going to be using the head strap mount. I think there's a wrist mount as well in there somewhere. Um, and there's all sorts of like these different clippy mounts and more suction cup mounts and God knows what else, all this stuff that's in here, all different mounts and stuff I can use for like racing and things like that. So hopefully this will help me get more footage so you guys can enjoy the lovely view. So I'm going to get the head mount on um, and get the GoPro on my head and then we'll see where we'll go from there. Before this video starts, I feel like I need to put a disclaimer in. Two things. This is going to be a completely unedited video, so it'll just be all of the raw footage put together um, and I'm going to see what you guys' responses are, see if you like it. Uh, secondly, I have noticed at the end of filming there is a fingerprint smudge on the lens and I hope that it hasn't affected the video, but I don't know. So I'm just forewarning you. I don't think it has, but I could be wrong. Enjoy! Okay, so you're now on my head and I have my phone that you're showing me like what I'm seeing. So fingers crossed we should hopefully be able to do this. But I don't really know. And I need to watch that I don't bang you on the roof. Because the back of the car is under the freaking garage. So here we have the old lid that I need to remove. Let's just see what you can see. I think it's still filming. I don't even know anymore. I have to stop this already because I don't know if you're filming. Not good. Oh, you are filming. That's all right. That's all right. It just says that the camera's off. Bizarre. Uh, anyway, so we have to remove this. There is an air temperature sensor that we're going to have to take off as well. Um, but it should only be a case of four bolts and something to hold it up. And then we can go ahead and stick that one on. And the reason why I want to put this one on is because this bit is raised and it makes it look faster and it's off the turbo one it's about it really, it's the only difference granted this one is the right colour but if I'm going to wrap the car which I still intend on doing um, it don't really matter so we're going to swap it for the black one still going to save this but what size do you reckon they are? 12s? 10s? 10s now we have to go and find a 10 this is weird but I've got you guys on my head put lights on so you can see Sockets, 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 sockets. I hope you guys can see. I don't know what angle you're in. This is just bizarre. Although we're, we're using this. Where the frick is my um. Where is that? Come here. That'll make life easier for us. Come to me. I wish this had the freaking spar on to hold it up. I really do. And he does not have it. Oh, uh, we're gonna need something smaller to remove that one. It's not a 10, is it? It is a 10. It is a 10. Put you there. Oh, 
might help if we undo it the right way. Well, that's under the car now. I saved that one at least. Need to pop that off, pop them off. And do another one this side. Then I want to get something to hold it on. So now we're going to need a trim tool. Like so. And we're also going to want something to hold it up with. Like so. Come on. Don't be a pain in the ass. Oh, this way I'm going to do it with my hands. This trim tool is the one of the weaker ones, so it might not be brilliant. Come on. Oh, man. Nope, need a stronger one. Can we keep the stronger ones in here? In here? Good luck in them off, is it? Give me a bit more room, I suppose. Okay. Then this bolt. I need to uh, lower it slightly. And then something I'll do with this one whilst holding that side. So, without catching the window. That is the key, you don't catch the window. So now we need to get this one and take it off its bungees. One. Come on. Eat off. I want you to be a turbo lid. Get off. Uh, take, the, take the lid with me. The thing with me. Alright, there we go. There we go. That's off now. 
So I'm hoping you guys can see. This one does actually have an air temperature sensor on the back of it, so I don't actually need to. But well, I suppose I need to take the wire off. Um, it's not much different on the inside. Not really. I think that scoop gives it better um, cooling capacity. Could be wrong. Either way, we're only running a standard engine, so it doesn't really matter, does it? We're going to be fine. So place that over there. Right. Like that for now. Let's line it up a bit better. Luke. There we go. Like that. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but just because it's raised, in my mind, looks a little bit better. And I can't tell you why. It just does. It looks something a bit more, I think, in my mind. Right, anyway. Ah, interesting. I need to set the brackets off with this one. <laughs> Take that back off. Take the brackets off. Where goes the bracket to run? I didn't look at that. and now we'll be able to put it on properly now. Let's try that again. <coughs> Turbo lid goes over. Oh look, it fits in the hole of it back now. Lift her up. Yeah, there's a little bit of damage there. I'm not overly bothered. She's going to be a track car, not a beauty queen. So. Line up the bolts. Always line up your bolts with your fingers first and get them in the threads. Again, with your fingers. Otherwise, you could cross thread them. So, I'm going to do that by hand, I think. Some bolts on the other side as well. Might wipe this in a little bit. are in the threads they're just a little bit rusty so it felt a bit stiff like it could have been um, cross threading always good to do it with your fingers first and that rule going with your fingers applies for a lot of things gentlemen always lube it up first and you're gonna have a better time See where this is going to fit now. Is it straight? Oh, look at that. It's not bad, that. Oh, if anything, it's a little bit too far. It's too far this way, which means it needs to go down a little bit. So if we uh, slacken these off a little bit. Watch that go down then. Tighten that one back up. 
I don't like that bolt in that one. I want a different bolt. Not the same shape. Use that one with the washer. Loosen off the other side. Oh, it looks like this was originally a Japanese car as well. We've got Japanese stickers on it. Nice, the Japanese import. That was still loose, so let's have a look what it looked like. Better that side, and that still needs to go down on this side. Come on. Better. So now to make sure this locks, I have to pull this out and then it should lock. There we go. Still not perfect. I might see if I can lock it in a little bit more. So pull the catch in here. Where is it? Fingers under. There we go. Loosen it again. Loosen it again. Yeah. Really should stop dropping my tools. It's a little bit better. I think that's as far as I'm going to get. I'm not going to get a lot of movement. I'm just trying to get it to line up with that panel. See, that side lines up fine. So it's not like I can even pull that side out. So if I pull that side out to knock this one down, and pull that one too far out. Yeah, it's not far. And I can't really go down anymore because it's hitting there. So that's going to be it, I think, for adjustment. That's as far as I'm going to get. Um, and what we can do with this one is we can just plug into that temperature sensor. Come on, push it over to there. Come on. For now, just stay in there. I'll tie wrap it. So I'm going to tie wrap that up so it's nice and tight. And that's it. It's pretty much on. Get two tie wraps. Small tie wraps. Like these little ones. Drain that too. Well, that tie wrap didn't work, did it? Because I didn't grab what I was tie wrapping to. Like a fool. Uh, 
Right, so there we go. I hope you guys can see. Yeah, I think you can. I've done this video, video blind, so I hope you guys can see. We'll get a nice picture for the, uh, the old interweb. And they show. And then we'll do another one, we'll get rid of everything. So we have a spare air temperature sensor. Add some spare brackets outside. Grab all these, grab all these, 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 and these. And that, and that one. And this one, and drop. Put them on. So, out the way. Now for me to lock this down, I have to pull that cable again. And now it's locked down. Yeah, I like the look of that. Picture for the old Instagrams. Another picture for the Instagrams. Picture for the Facebooks. Another picture for the Facebooks. And another picture for the Facebooks. See guys, you don't see this. This is gonna be like an unedited video. So now you can see me put my stuff away. Put that back up there. Put that one back up there. Okay, I might edit this bit out. You might, you're not going to want to see this. But, I wonder what you guys would reckon to an unedited video. And by unedited, it would just be all the bits just put together. God, it's really raining. Put that there for now. Maybe I should try and hang it. Wow, right, well, you've been on my head this whole time. I now need to take you off so you can see. No, I can see you. I have no idea if that footage has worked. I'm gonna stick with it either way, and that video will be going up onto the YouTubes. Uh, and I hope it's worked. I hope you guys have seen what I've done. It's gonna be unedited. This is me, you know, just, just gonna put the files up. It might have a little logo at the front and end, that sort of thing, but I'm not gonna chop and change anything. It's gonna be exactly what you see. I probably should have said at the start of the video it's an unedited video. And I can see that I've got fingerprint smudges on the lens, so I hope that hasn't affected anything. Don't know. Um, so thank you very much for watching, as always. Make sure you um, stay tuned for more. Subscribe, do whatever you do. Uh, and I will see you soon in another video. Stay humble, guys. Ciao.